When I think of the Rays, and this is where it becomes really referable, I suppose, I think of a team that has been famous for overachieving. So my question is, because it's been one of the lower payroll teams in Major League Baseball over the years, it's certainly not the Dodgers. They're not going out and spending $700 million uh, for Shohei Otani. <laughs> um, so my question is this, how do you build a team that can outperform its potential and then how, once you've put those parts together, how do you get it to outperform its potential? So how do you, how do you assemble the talent that can outperform and then how do you get it, motivate it to outperform? That's a wonderful question and I think to uh, I will answer it the best I can to the degree of, of the information that I have I am privy to in my personal experience based on what I have witnessed and I have watched I have seen that the Tampa Bay Rays are are led by a group of very creative open-minded uh, people who are willing to think outside of the box willing to to produce some 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 metrics and to gather data to look where other people are not looking and also to value and understanding the market mm. knowing that hey we can't compete with the New York Yankees in terms of money we can't compete with the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays and like you mentioned the Dodgers with money and also you have to take into consideration the market as well uh, the Tampa Bay Rays uh, operating at a St. Pete a lot smaller market so they don't they are they don't have the obstacles that some of these big market teams have and what I have learned from those who are leading the Tampa Bay Rays and those who are, are coaching these these players are building these environments and with by looking in places like I said where others might not be looking and valuing things that other people not might not be valuing one thing that I have learned is that the Rays are very mindful and deliberate with what they want, what they look for, and when they do hire or bring on players or bring on employees, they're very deliberate on telling them what they value in them, why they believe that they are gonna be a fit for the organization, and then they give them the permission and the leeway and the freedom to go do what they do the best that they can. And not mm -hmm. necessarily focus on strengthening your weaknesses necessarily, but say, hey, we have people where you're weak, we have people who are strong in that, in that aspect. Just focus on your strengths and we'll collect data and we'll measure and we'll see what we can do to compete against the others who, uh, who might have better resources financially than we do. Quick answer, if I might, as we're running a little short on time. One of the keys to an effective team is giving uh, effective feedback. What is the best way to give constructive feedback in a way that enhances performance and does not demoralize the recipient of the feedback? That's a great question. I think a lot of times we talk about receiving feedback and how difficult it is. We often don't talk about how difficult it is to give feedback. And there's a lot of reasons for that being. One technique that listeners can use is called the ask, tell, ask model. So what you can do is you can go up to somebody and say, hey, would you mind if I offer some feedback, offer an observation that I'm noticing? And hopefully the person says yes. And then you give your observation. It seems like, and you just fill in the blank, giving your observation and you're giving it in a way with, of, with humility and vulnerability and literally telling them, I could be wrong, but this is what I'm noticing. So that's the tell part. And then once you're done giving your feedback, then you ask, what corrections do you have on that? Where am I wrong? Please correct me on my inside of what you think. And so it's a very mm. simple yet powerful model that people can use. You ask if you can give feedback, you tell them that what you're observing and then you ask what they think about the feedback that you just gave.